guys welcome back to my channel happy friday to everybody today i wanted to come on here and share with you all the top five friday that i started recently i had been doing the friday favorites but now i wanted to start it as a top five friday so that way there we kind of keep it short and simple so we have five products to look up look over or go over so let's get started with the lip product that i've been really loving this week and it is the revlon ultra hd matte lip color and i have the shade hmm I think it's HD Kisses, maybe. So here's what the little product looks like. It's just a matte lipstick. I have this on my lips today, so this is what I'm wearing. This stuff smells so good. It smells like sweet tarts. When you put it on your lips, it smells just like sweet tarts. It doesn't taste like sweet tarts, unfortunately. It doesn't taste like anything, to be honest. But it really does smell like sweet tarts. So if you like the scent of sweet tarts, you would absolutely love these. These are really good. And it's not like so drying on your lips to where it makes your lips feel like it's puckering. Like, you know, like a, a butthole, I guess you'd say. Um, but it just feels really good on my lips. It feels nice and moisturizing. But it also feels like it's going to stay. It doesn't feel like it's going to move too much. And it doesn't move too much, to be honest with you. It's not kiss proof. So you can smear it off by kissing and things like that. But I feel like it has a good staying power, good lasting power. And this is such a beautiful color. I love this color. I think the color is very nice. So this is one of my favorites for this Friday. The next thing is the Fiona Styles. And it's this little palette here. And it is the Light Illusion Prism Palette. I've been really digging this palette lately. Here's what it looks like on the inside. I really like this because I am one of those. I don't like a highlight that's like so bold that you kind of see it from the stars like everybody says. I like more of a more subtle highlight and that's what this is. It's a very subtle highlight. It reminds me a lot of the Hourglass Ambient Light Powders, but not quite as, like the Hourglass, I feel like they're a little bit fine, finer, finer milled, if I, can, if I can talk. I feel like it's a little bit finer milled and the colors are a little bit different. These colors are a little bit different than the Hourglass. These are a little bit more peachy, a little bit more pinky. So the Again, you can see that there's a, they're very, very beautiful colors. Let me do a little swatching here so you can see them. They're just really pretty. So here's what the colors look like swatched. They barely show up, but that's what I like. I like that they don't show up super dark. I like that they're more, see, they're more like um, muted out like a highlighter. So if you like a more muted highlighter, you would like these because for me who has, I have textured skin because of having acne issues and things. It does really well on my face because it doesn't show off all of my imperfections and I don't really want to show all my imperfections. So it works really well. I think it's a nice palette and it's reasonably priced. I think this is only like $28. That's a good price. I think for a high end, higher end uh, type of product. I really like this. The next thing is if you can see that I kind of look like I have my tan back from the beach or whatever, I really don't. <laughs> it's gone. It's almost completely faded to be honest with you, but I recently picked this back up. I've purchased this a while ago and I really didn't play with it too much but now I'm really loving this thing. It's called the Laura Geller Baked Body Frosting Face and Body Glow. So you can use this on your face. You can use it on your body. I like to use it on my body not my face. I'd rather use a, a different bronzer instead of using the same one I'm using on my body and put it on my face. I'm just a little weird like that. I don't like using it on my face because I'm afraid that I'm gonna cause myself to get more acne issues than what I already have. But this stuff is really, really nice. The palette, it's, the little package itself is really deep. And it comes with this little sponge. And this can be washed. So if you, if you get this and it starts to get a little gross like mine's starting to look, you can wash that. It says you can wash it and then let it air dry and you're good to go. But here's what the color looks like. It's just a really, really, really pretty color. It looks very, like when you rub it all around, as you can see on my hand here, it looks a little bit red, but a little bit golden at the same, or a little bronzy at the same time. So once you rub it on your skin, it looks just like your skin would look if you have a suntan. It looks a little frosty right there, a little shimmery, but it's not honestly once you put it on your body, because you can see it, I have it on my arms, I have it on my chest. Something to make me look like I have a tan still to end the summer with, besides me going back out into the sun. I don't want to get any more sun exposure than what I've already had. So this is a great thing for to carry me out throughout the rest of the summer. Probably, I could use this in the winter too if I wanted that little bit of a tan to go out on date night or whatever. This works really well. I do like it. I think it works really nice. If you've not checked this out before, I think they sell it at Ulta. And I'm pretty sure it's like $45 for this. So it's not super expensive, but because it's a huge product. I mean, it's going to take 
I can't get it back open. It's going to take you a while to go through that. I mean, like, it's the size of my hand almost. It's a huge palette here. And like I said, it's really deep so that you can put your sponge in here and keep it nice and secure. So I really do like that. So that's three products so far. So now we have two more to go. So the next product is something that everybody has been talking about and they've been raving about it and it's dirty already. Um, it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Modern Renaissance Palette. This palette is beautiful. Everybody talks about how they love it and everything, and they're not lying. This palette is amazing. The brush that it comes with works okay. I mean, it's not like the, the worst brush I've ever used, but it's not the best brush I've ever used either. The brush is okay, but the palette and the colors in this palette are just gorgeous. Let me pop the brush out so I don't lose it while I'm trying to show you all. The colors are just gorgeous. If you like these more berry-toned colors with this, like, warm tones here, like the orange and the browns, you would love this. It just is gorgeous and like it lasts on your eyes all day without a primer. You can use a primer to make it intensified a little bit more, but you don't need it. I mean, it lasts without a primer, honestly. I have this on my eyes today. This is what I'm wearing. So if you guys like this look, this is what I've used to create this look. I really do like this. I love the orange. The orange is gorgeous. I can't wait to wear that orange for when we have a, um, my son's going to UVA and we'll go to the UVA football games. So that orange, I'm definitely going to pick up and use that when I'm trying to get ready for games, the orange and blue to kind of go with the theme of UVA. So I really do think this is a great palette. I think the color is great. The pigmentation is great. The lasting power is great. I mean, there's nothing about this that I think is terrible. The only thing that I could say possibly that could be a flaw in it, it's not really a flaw, is that it does have some kick up, but it's not like any other palette I've ever used. I think every palette that has a lot of pigment to it is going to have a little bit of kick up. You're just going to have to make sure you tap off your brush before you start applying it to your eyes so you don't have any fallout. I absolutely love this palette. I think it's amazing. They have it right now at Ulta and Sephora. It is not limited edition, so if you're looking at this palette, you can get it at any point because it's one of those, I think they're going to keep it around forever. It's one of those permanent collections, so I love it. The only thing I don't like about it, the other thing is the, the outside packaging. I mean, it gets really gross really quick. So as you can see, mine's gotten some stains on it already. but. I don't care. The palette works well, really well, and it'll be a great fall palette. I think this will make a very beautiful fall palette. I think it's going to be, it'll probably pull me through to fall, through the winter, and then I'll start going into more blues and things like that. But I really do love this. I think it's beautiful. The last item for this week that I've been loving, and these were no particular order. These weren't like, you know, this is the, my favorite or whatever. I loved all of these kind of equally this week. I think they worked really well for me this week. I love them. This one here is the Benefit Chicathon palette. And I'm pretty sure that they still sell this at Sephora and Ulta online. I'm not sure if they sell it in store, but I'm pretty sure that they still sell it online on both websites, but I'm not positive. I should have checked that, I guess. But it does come with a giant mirror up here, and then it comes with a little brush, and then you get four, five, I'm sorry, five cheap products. So you have in here you have Dandelion. I'm trying to hold it so that I can show you all. You have Dandelion Blush, you have Hula Bronzer, you have Rocketeur Blush, you have Dallas, and this is like a blush, but it's, to me it looks more like a bronzer, so you could kind of, I guess, use it as both. And then you have Coralista Brush. Blush. I love Coralista. Coralista is my favorite out of the palette. Coralista is like a peachy sh shade, and I just think peach looks really, really good with tan skin. So there's what the Coralista looks like. It's just gorgeous. Let me do a swatch of all of them, actually. So Dandelion. Hula, and I already did Coralista, Rocketeur, and Dallas. So we have, here's Dandelion, and then we have Hula, and then we have Rocketeur, and then I gotta get Dallas because I put it on my thumb and then I wiped it off. And then here's Dallas. Dallas is right here. So as you can see, they're all just very beautiful colors, very nice. They're not like overly pigmented. They're like the kind that you can kind of build up to the, to the, to the pigment that you'd like. They're not overly powdery. I don't have a problem with powder, like them falling out or anything. I mean, any kind of powder product you're going to use is going to have a little bit of powdery likeness. So where it's going to do a little bit of kick up. So to me, I think as long as the product has good pigmentation and you don't have to sit there and build and build and build, then it's good. Now for a blush, I think it's different. I think a blush, you kind of want to have to build it. I don't think you want to go on completely and then have like this 
huge swipe of like orange or pink or whatever whatever shade you decide to use you don't want this big old stripe and then have to sit there and try to blend that out blush is one of those things that you kind of want to have to build it up to the pigmentation that you're looking for otherwise you could go out looking like a clown and I don't think any of us want to go out looking like a clown other than that this is my five favorites for this Friday so my top five Friday so I've got the Benefit Chica Thine palette the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette the Fiona Styles palette so I've got a lot of palettes here this week for favorites I've got the Laura Geller Baked Body Frosting and then the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color this is smells so good this smells just like I think it smells like sweet tarts honestly it smells just like sweet tarts and by the way speaking of scents this smells really good this smells almost perfumey it smells like it has a little bit of perfume into it and I'm not sure if they actually put perfume into it I don't know it just smells very perfumey it smells good not a bad perfume it just smells really nice and it's huge I mean I don't think I'm gonna go through all these blushes at any time soon so I think I'm gonna be good on blush for a while that is my top five <clears throat> Top off Friday. I can't think of how this is called now. I'm not terrible. Anyway, what have you guys been loving this week? Have you picked up anything new that you're loving or something that you've rediscovered in your stash that you're like, oh my gosh, you know, I forgot. I love this so much. Let me know what you guys have been loving this week. And other than that, I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>